Why am I standing in front of this fresh engine when I just recently built this engine? Because of this. Okay, so last video, we're in Salt Lake, we're testing, had some injector failures. So we come back and we have a spare set of injectors at a different spray angle. And we wanted to test to see if a different angle of the injector would make a big difference. So we put the new injectors in, get on the dyno, start testing. It was crazy. We lost over 200 horsepower on every setting. So yeah, you're down 9, 10, 11, almost 300. Almost 300. These injectors, they're out. Only difference is the angle. So angle makes a huge difference. We want to just give it one more run with some fuel to the 600 cc. So we have one more baseline just to see if it does something different with a little bit of fuel. We decided to do one more run. We want to test one more thing. Ready? Yep. Boom, lightning strikes twice. You run it up, thing pops. I knew exactly what it was. The first time the cam broke on me, I was scared out of my mind on the dyno. I didn't know what to do. This time, I knew it was a broken cam. Turn off the engine, slammer in neutral. It was clicking, right? Yeah, it was. Well, let's pull the motor out. So sure enough, we get the motor out and it is a broken cam. So it did break off in the exact same spot. Yeah, it sure did. When we broke the cam the first time, uh, we thought hopefully it was just a th it was pulling out. Uh, the thrust was too weak on there. Uh, what actually happens is not pulling out. It has two forces on the gear. The crank pushes it out, and the cam driving the pump pushes it in. So it actually wants to twist. It's not pulling out. It's twisting on you. And so. We kind of discovered this through talking with a bunch of different engineers after our last break, a lot of cam guys, pretty smart guys out there. And so we decided we needed to, to build something that could counteract this twisting movement. And so we came up with a, new, a whole new gear case, a whole new cover and everything. This showed up on Friday. Our last dyno happened on Thursday. So the cam was broken. Maybe that's a good thing because the cam maybe was already weakened. And so now we had to get a fresh cam. So Huge thanks, Zach Hamilton at Hamilton Cams. We call him up, he says, he's like, I got another one coming your way. He just sipped another one right away, overnighted it to us. The guy has been so helpful. So here's the very first time our new gear case has been on the engine. Uh, we're really excited. Hopefully this solves our cam breakage. Like I talked about earlier, this cover has a support here. Uh, that's gonna be uh, support of the cover. So we're doing our first uh, initial install now. I'm gonna see how it works. Hopefully it works awesome. We've added some higher end valve train. This is from SMT. This is really high end stuff. Obviously the new cover, hoping to really solve a lot of that. And we'll go over those items more later, but right now we have about a week or so before we are supposed to be on the road to Indiana. And we gotta get this thing finished, built, and tested in a short time. So anyway, this is where we're at right now. The motor is 90% complete. Just wanted to get a quick video out to you guys so you can see what's going on. And hopefully next time you see me, this thing is running on the dyno, getting ready to do some testing. Uh, thanks, subscribe, leave some comments, and we'll be talking to you soon.